Hello everybody and welcome back to No Place Like Home, where today, uh, looks like we just started sleeping halfway through the day. It looks like all of this is completely ready to harvest, which is lovely. And I'm going to leave it like that, because that is not my cash crop. This is my cash crop. So we're going to keep on planting loads of strawberries. I kind of like this way of doing things. I've always got some way that I know, that I know is completely sustainable of creating... Um, what's it called? Processed food. I think it's processed with food pots, I think it might be called as well. I'm not sure though. So at the moment I'm kind of keeping the uh, the farm plots until I decide what else I want to do with them. Uh, we just planted a load of peppers, they are getting ready. And I will be harvesting and replanting those just because I'm going to need them for some upgrades and things like that. Let's uh, put these seeds away. I'm going to need an overflow seed chest. My seed, my chest is full of like daisies and flower seeds and tree seeds and all sorts of seeds that I don't really need, so... Probably should have some strawberry seeds in there, but right, anyway, pepper seeds go in there. Carrot seeds. Uh, strawberry seeds are getting planted. I don't think I'm ever going to run out of strawberry seeds just because I'm constantly replanting them and uh, making new, so that should be alright. But I am going to make another chest that's like the overflow for all the extra seeds, I think. Let's do that now. And we'll just keep it down by the farm, maybe over here or something. Have a couple of chests for just random junk over here. This is for like uh, building materials and things. So if I've got loads of rubble, for example, I've got too much rubble. What I like to do is keep like 100 rubble, 100 wood. Maybe you've got more than that. 100 rubble, 100 wood, 100 rubber. 100 glass, not that I'm likely to get that much, so I'll put that extra rubber away. And then the extra fields can go in with the, the seed overflow. Or I could just have a chest for each. Might be better, honestly. I think I think storage is going to start to become a bit uh, difficult soon, so... Let's just nip that in the bud before it becomes a problem. So we've got three chests here. One is going to be for like uh, fields. Probably fields and seeds and seeds and fields and all sorts. And then I'm going to want, I think I want another chest actually to go over by the food. Because I realised that the food chest was actually getting really ridiculously over cramped there was no reason for that so I'm thinking what I'll do is have something over here that will be and I could even extend that because I don't need more it's so hard to get things to line up properly oh well so I think what we want is to take out all the things put in things like you know carrots and all that sort of thing into here take out like honey eggs Truffles, all that sort of thing. And then if I want to subdivide it further, then I will probably do something like... Uh, would maybe go fruits and vegetables or something like that. I've got a lot of... I need a chest just for strawberries and preserve to, for the preserves. And I need to probably make another preserve thingy, I would say. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So let's have this one for animal products. That one for like chess, uh, for, sorry, for fruit and everything. So animal product, honey counts as an animal product in my books. Um, can of dog food, oh gosh, why have I got that in there? No idea. So like pumpkins, potatoes, I've got a lot of potatoes at the moment. So some of these maybe I will, where I've got a lot of leftover, I may just put them through the processor. Because I now do have them all like in a field. I've got a tomato field, I've got a lettuce field, I've got oat fields, there's a lot of oats. I don't know if I'd be better off making the oats into bread though. I'm not 100% sure on that one. My bulbinator, 
got eggs on my hotbar. I've got aubergines on my hotbar. Like, seeds make sense. Seeds totally make sense. Or eggplant, whatever you want to call it. Uh, mayonnaise, I would say, counts as an animal product. So in it goes. I want to keep some of it as eggs and have some of them as, like, mayonnaise, for example. Let's do that. Then I've got batteries to put away. Uh, it might be useful to keep some batteries as well. So batteries, rubber, wood. So you keep like one of everything. These all need to be put away. I will keep boxes in my inventory at all times because they uh, can sometimes be useful for getting across places. Bridge parts are going to be needed for the quest I'm about to do. Uh, oats have no idea. Wallpaper. Right, I also have a whole load of recycling stuff to do. Let's get that done and just have a nice old... Uh, nice old clean inventory to start with. Even if it does take me most of the day to do. Now the next thing I want to do is to go and check out like... Um, now I wonder whether I should have one of every vegetable in my inventory before I go and do this. It might be useful actually. But just to go and have a look and see if there's any upgrades I can have. So remember my peppers are not ready, but they will be soon. So I've got everything else. Yeah, everything else is planted. The chickens are having their tea party on their picnic blanket. So let's have a look at Rudy stuff first. So we've already unlocked all the drills up to where we have milk, oranges, Corn, which we don't have yet. Onions. Oranges again. Cheese, which we also do not have. Peppers. Peppers. So yeah, we're basically waiting for peppers. Once we have peppers, we can have a power swing. And what was the other pepper one? Power swing and another back bit of extra backpack space, so that's fine. I want to go and see, um, I don't know whether just to do more preservers or, because I've got a lot of strawberries coming in and it's good to make them into preserves before I make them into, um, into jam, sorry, before I make them into preserves. So what I'm thinking is I'll go and see whether we have the right stuff yet or what the stuff is going to be from our friend, uh, well, I'll go and see Mark first. But we'll go and see Harold, basically. Oh yeah, preserving machine upgrade, two peaches. We have peaches. We totally have peaches. I can also upgrade the chicken coop once I have wheat. Oh, I don't have wheat, I only have oats. Jam for a super kitchen upgrade, which I don't even need. Well, I might do. I might bring in some jam and get a super kitchen upgrade. But we'll get some peaches off the tree down here and I'll get the preserver upgrade because I think that's going to be kind of useful to have. I might even make a second one. I think I only needed two though. I'll make two, two jam preservers and I will make them upgraded. And then hopefully that will be a bit better for me. I did not want the resources, no! I want, I want the shot. I could just click there, couldn't I? Ugh. There we are, bigger capacity preserving machine. So I'm going to go back to my workshop, make a preserver, and then make two upgrades. So we'll have two upgraded preserving machines. And I'll see if that's enough, because we are getting a bit of a surplus of the old strawberries. We'll also plant these strawberries that I got. In fact, I might even need more strawberry seeds. Let's do the, the planting first then. And then I can see if I'm going to need more after it. I mean, I always need more. That's a silly, silly suggestion really, isn't it? Because I'm always going <laughs> to... Eventually they're going to grow and I'll need more seeds. Now the thing is, with the bird feeders, um, I've got, I think I have 27 or so coming through 
And I have something like 40, I think I said it was something like 48 plots here. So I think I probably need more or upgraded bird feeders. The problem is the temptation is always to make more, but then there's no point in having an upgrade. I find that with sprinklers. I put the sprinklers down and then I never want the super sprinkler because why would I? The sprinklers are already doing their job unless I suddenly want to make a massive field halfway through, but because it doesn't make it so you need lots more as you go through the game, <laughs> it becomes a bit redundant. Okay, well that's given me another cycle of the recyclers at least, which is quite nice, before I go off and start demolishing the Lonely Hills again. Which is what I am doing right now. I can't wait to get to some of the other areas though. Well, my, it's something my mother always used to say, like, to sort of enjoy the journey. Because I always used to be like, I want to grow up. I, I want to do this and this and this. And I'm like, she's like, you don't want to be grown up. Enjoy being a child. And I'm like, but being a child sucks. You can't do anything. And then, like, I think sometimes it can be like, I can't wait to get onto this. I can't wait to get onto this. And then you realise, like, it's the end of your life or something. So, enjoy the journey is basically what I'm trying to say there. So, I want two upgrades. And one C, so having one of every crafting material just in my inventory, but no more than that, one stack, is is really, really quite, that working quite well. The stack sizes are, are very much improved. I'm finding it much easier to manage my inventory at the moment. So that's quite nice. I'm going to chuck this honey straight into the preserver because why not? Chuck some mayo in there too. <laughs> I don't know. Just chuck everything that I didn't want in my inventory there. So I'm going to put down... Um, did I make it? Did I just make the upgrades or did I actually make the preserving machine? No, I did make the preserving machine. <laughs> Yay! So. Oh! Oh no, it's an upgraded preserving machine, not an upgraded. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. But once in my life, I am actually gonna. I'm gonna throw that one in the bin. Because I do not, I know I don't need more. I've already got enough as it is without having them upgraded. So um, I'm going to upgrade them. And that may mean I need less and I can throw some others away as well. But what I really wanted was the upgraded jam maker. But I'm a silly billy and I bought the wrong thing. So we're going to go back through to the village. No, we're going to go back through to the village and we're going to go and see Harold. Who is who? Who I said we always wanted to go and see. Oh my goodness me. But then again, having upgraded preservers isn't going to hurt. It just, again, I think really what I should be aiming for is more space on the farm. So not having big rows of things. Just having upgrades so that I don't have to have a big row of everything. As much as sometimes it does look pretty to have a big row of stuff. Hello, Mr. Harold. Right, I want to see... Aren't you bored all alone here in this abandoned village? Bored? Never. There's so much work around animals. I'm never bored. A bit lonely at times, but bored. Ah, right, you came from the station. Yes, out there you can probably afford to be bored. Here on Earth? No can do. <laughs> Why didn't you leave? You know, I used to train all kinds of working animals most of my life. You can't even imagine how smart they are. No matter how hard they try, they can't match the same expectations as machines do. After all, they need rest, proper care, food, a place to have fun and make friends, just like we do. Yes, all these people out there expecting humans to work like machines. They need rest, proper care, food, a place to have fun and make friends. Mm. And on Mars, everything's calculated. There's not enough space for all of them and their needs. Some pets found new homes, but what about the rest? I decided to stay and take care of them since we both share one true passion. Real food! Maybe you can trick people's senses, but mine and my animals never. It's all instant with you Mars people. No patience to prepare a proper meal. No idea how things are actually made. I remember when they introduced all those devilish inventions. Entire meal in one little pill. Yeah, disgusting. So it's even better now. We can grow and produce the best quality only for ourselves. Since this area used to be known for some excellent truffles, my pigs are perfect companions. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. I found Napoleon. I can't thank you enough, Alan. <laughs> Did I never tell him that I found Napoleon? He's been stood there for the last two weeks. Uh, the animals seem so happy and free now. We'll have to find out who's responsible for all the traps, but that's all for now okay so let's just actually go to the shop now and do what i meant to do which is to find the jam stuff so i'm gonna have a look at the rest of his stuff though so corn for upgraded pigsties and upgraded uh beehives 
upgraded mayo maker if I had some mayo on me. I don't feel that I really need it. Honestly, I make mayo to order kind of thing at the moment. But the jam maker, it's going to need blueberries. No! Okay, that'll do. That's fine. Uh, and we'll just... I'll, I'll take the cheats way home, shall I? Yes. Cheats way home. So what do we have left to do on the farm now? I wanted to, yeah, make some jam. I, I'm going to make a couple more jam makers. And that will be the last thing I do on the farm. I know I've been sort of messing around on the farm for the last 10-15 minutes. But I think that'll be worth it. Can't wait to meet Joy and get the, the bird feeders. And cows. It actually is all Mark, um, Mark, Harold, and Joy for everything now. Nobody else gives any upgrades by the looks of it. That's interesting. Charges solar energy into battery. This is a battery maker. Okay, anyway, I, I don't know. Come on, make what you're going to make, she lab. Stop getting distracted. Which is going to be a couple more jam makers. I think two should be fine. And again, I'll just delete them. Later on if I don't need them. Because that's one thing I find is that like you, you, you make these things because you need lots of them. And then you get an upgrade and you don't need as many. So I feel like that's a good time to... Throw a couple of them away. Got one strawberry left over. That could just stay in my inventory for now. And are these done? Yes. So that's all the trash I've gotten rid of as well. I only recycle trash. I, some of the other things. Early game, if you need a lot of uh, component parts. Or whatever they're called. A lot of uh, recycled parts, I think they're called. If you need a lot of them, then you can kind of get away with um, with recycling some of that stuff. Maybe some old wood or something. But I would generally keep it if you can. Now, I might need to come back and get these acorns eventually for the deer. So I'm actually going to put a little stack of acorns in my inventory. I'm just going to keep them there. I've got a load of wallpapers. Uh, I need the bridge parts. Um, extra batteries I think I'm going to put in this chest. And dog food can seem to be in here as well, apparently. I don't know why, but the, that's where they are, so that's where they'll stay. I'll top up my materials as well, because I've been using quite a few of them, actually. Okay, that will do. Time to go to the Lonely Hills then. So which part do I want to go to? Do I want to do a bit of cleaning first? Or do I want to get on with quests? I think I'm going to, because I've done a lot of stuff around the farm, I'm going to get on and do some questing stuff, I think. So let's go to the bottom part by Rudy and let's go and chat to him about the bridge, I think. And then once we've done that, because I've cleaned all of this part, but I know that there's parts of the riverbed that still haven't been cleaned up and I need to go back and do them. I, got, I was getting to a part of the episode where I wanted to move on and do some questing. But it was just taking ages to do the cleaning down that part of the the world. So I've just left it for, for later. And I will come back and do it. I have almond milk in my tea today. Because we ran out of milk. And I had almond milk to make smoothies with. So I chucked it in my tea. So it tastes very roasty. <laughs> Okay, so you were right, Rudy. It works perfectly. Of course it does. And you did a good job. But we'll need something stronger to eradicate that big hole. We need the great bulb later. I said it right, I think. I thought you had it already. Well, not really. I would have built it a long time ago, but I can't. See there, the fallen bridge across the river? All the required parts on the other side of the river. And with the bridge destroyed, there's no way to get there. So, find the bridge parts and fix the... Oh, I've already found seven of five bridge parts. Okay. Yay! Go me! <laughs> 
go fix the bridge then. And get the great bulba later. I like this because it's like giving you the mini bulba later quest and it's giving you the great bulba later quest. It's sort of like made things a little bit easier. It's it's made this area a tiny bit smaller, but only in the in the grindy sense of the words. Um it's taken away some of the grind. Yay! Should I go tell Rudy about that? I think I should. Because he might have another quest for me. Oh, actually, I'll check my quests. Maybe it'll say that I've got to... No, it just says fix the bridge. So the next bit will be go tell Rudy and he'll tell me to find the parts of the Great Bulba later. Let's do that before we go and find them. I'm terrible at getting ahead of myself. And then we can check that area out, maybe clean it a little bit, and then I will go back to the river and clean the rest of the river. Ellen, you did it. The bridge looks terrific. Good job. So what about the great bulb later? Uh, yes, now I can trust you with this task. First, we need to find some parts and some mushrooms. Okay. It'll give the machine extra juice, meaning great power. Then we'll just need to keep our fingers crossed and hope it'll work. Hope? Well, it's not like anybody except your grandfather ever made one of those. Most of the folks around here don't even believe the great bulb later is a thing. Okay. So, really need something called cleansing fungi. A few of them, at least. I should be able to find them on the other side of the bridge. Seven cleansing fungi. Okay, let's go. Get those cleansing fungi. Like I say, so because I want to see how this, how they've changed and, and adapted this uh, this side of the bridge. It'll be interesting to see if it's any different. But then I do want to make sure that I've, you know, I'm trying to clean as I go along and I know, I've just got like this buzz in my head that like something isn't done. So I want to get that finished. So fast travel point unlocked the old quarry. So we can now come here straight away. That wasn't very nice to give me enemies as soon as I come through the door. So the old quarry has a lot more trash in it. So what they seem to have done is pack, reduce the areas a bit, but maybe packed a bit more rubbish in some of the areas as well. Oh, it's getting all late at night. Sunflower seeds. I'm going to have to see who can give me those are up like upgraded flower beds i've got a feeling it might have been it might be joy actually i'm not sure but we'll f as soon as we get to the frozen peaks we'll find joy i think and unless they've moved her i don't know, i never know if she's joy or jay i couldn't tell but last time jay would make sense for someone who is like a bird collector because a J is a bird. But Joy would also be an interesting name. I don't know. <laughs> so just to, like quickly drill my way through to the uh, actual quarry part. I just want to like check it out and see what it's like nowadays. Drill myself a little path. Sometimes it helps me feel like I've made more progress. Oh yeah, so it's all pretty much the same. And then I imagine this is like the last part of the Lonely Hills, so I think it's probably going to be... We've got a door there. We've got a door there. So we had this section, this section, which is the quarry. It, this section up here might be a fourth section. If there's like a gate up there or something maybe, but I don't think so. It looks to me like there's a gate there. There's a gate like there. And that's it. I don't know if it I don't know if it actually shows me on the global map. Hang on, let's go to global map. Oh yeah, you can see that's the gateway to the Lonely Hills. One, two, three. Oh look, there is, there is. So this I reckon, because they're saying that the way is blocked to the frozen peaks, so I don't know whether, maybe, there will be a way through the actual railway tracks this time. 
or whether you just have do have to go through that way through the village I'm not really sure yet so that'll be through to the frozen peaks and then that way up to the desert so again that's the you go from the frozen peaks through the door and that goes into the desert and then the, the final area is across the bridge which I've, I've been so curious about for so long I'm glad I'll get to go there but this is the biggest area so it has taken me quite a few episodes to get through it but that is why it is huge this area See, I sometimes, like, do wish that you couldn't kill those guys with water because I do find that that's a bit too easy for me. I, d I don't... There's not really many of them I find difficult in this game. Then again, I don't think it's a game that's meant to be difficult, so... That's fine. Another banana hat. What? I need more hats that fit, fit the pigs. I can't remember whether banana hats fit the pigs or whether they only fit chickens. But I find loads of banana hats. I like I like the hats that are different for my animals. I want them to all have different hats. I've got a couple of balloons, so I could maybe tie one of those to one of the chickens. And I don't know if the balloons only work on pigs and bigger animals, so pigs and cows and things. But that'll get them like a sort of a pretty Mary Poppins style bowler hat thing. And I was reading the comments that I'm not the only one apparently that thinks of that. Is a Mary Poppins hat, so haha. -ha, you agree with me? I'm so happy. <laughs> Mushroom hat and a cap. Oh, I was just saying I wanted more hats. We got some good hats now. But yeah, I can't wait until we get um at the moment because I'm just cleaning this area out, and so far we've only had pigs. As soon as we get through to the frozen peaks, we'll start to get more animals. So if you guys who are patrons and haven't had um, a name yet do look out once I get to that point because we will be we will be naming lots at that point because I'll probably get a, a whole bunch of like cows or something all at once there used to be deer in here and I was gonna maybe name some of the deer after you guys but like I haven't they seem to have actually removed that I don't know whether they've been moved somewhere else So I'm a bit confused as to where they went. I went to all that effort to make a well as well, and like, I d I'm finding now there's no underground. I don't need it as much. <laughs> it used to be the underground was the place where I would run out of water the most without being able to re like replenish it. All right, I've somehow managed to like go almost all the way through the night. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I think maybe I should go back home. Uh, yeah, let's go back home. But we've built the bridge. We've we've done a good amount of uh, of stuff. Good amount of cleaning. We found some of the fungi I think that we needed. So I'll grab the strawberry seeds and plant the the ones that aren't planted at the moment. Ah, it looks like we've got a strawberry harvest going on as well. So I'll put some back in the bird feeders uh, as well. And then some will go into the jam preserver. But this is nice because I only ever have one kind of fruit that I need to worry about. We have blueberries! When did I get those? Because that's my jam maker upgrade. Ah! Okay, so I need eight more fields. I know I've suddenly gone off to... Oh, I've got ten in my, in my thing. So, I need eight more fields. And we're going to make... Hang on, they have to be about one thing apart. About that far apart. I'm going to need one for corn as well. So I may as well put down a couple of extras. And I need the sprinklers for them to... Oh, that's not right. Or is it right? No, 
know it is right. Doubting myself, and I didn't need to. It's absolutely fine. So I need like another six. And I need like four sprinklers. And again, just it, it is nice just to have all of the things you need for, for all the things you're going to want to make. Just sat there. In your inventory. Where were the uh, other... There they are. I do have quite a few things to sort out as well. I always seem to whenever I come back. I'm like, I leave for 10 minutes and I've got a whole load of sorting to do. Okay, lovely. So the blueberries, I've got nine blueberry seeds, which is wonderful. So that's exactly enough to plant everything I need there and to keep one seed in my seed chest. Which I actually didn't sort out yet. Because I am bad. So I'm going to need a flower chest and everything eventually. Um, some flowers as well. There we are. So I've got a nice big load of stuff for when I finally do get the ability to grow flowers. <laughs> which I don't seem to have right now. I want my strawberry seeds on my hot bar. I want food on my hot bar all the time. Okay, so I'm going to use my jam makers. As soon as my blueberries are done, I will be harvesting them. Are my peppers done yet? Not quite. So I'll get them through the jam maker. Oh, hang on. No, don't put them all through the jam maker, Sheila. We need to make more seeds. The idea would be not to keep them in storage. I don't really want to have a load of stored seeds, uh, strawberries, sorry, and I don't want to have a load of stored preserves either. I want just all of them going straight through the system. Three seems to be plenty. That's brilliant. Okay. And then all the jam that I've got goes straight through these preserves. Um, I think I upgraded some of them as well. That's an upgraded one. Oh, uh, did I? Did I upgrade? Are these these two are upgraded? So I'll do five each. I'm not sure. That one looks bigger. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, that one's bigger. It's got six slots and it has seven each. Yes. They don't look much different. That's the thing. But they take more, so that's good. And if I'm going to have a lot of jam, then that might be a good thing. But eventually I'll probably just go to, up to the biggest one and I'll have like two of them or something. And same with the jam makers. I'll have one or two of them. I won't need more than that. I'm quite liking, this is a bit of a different layout for me uh, compared to normal and I am quite liking it. I am quite liking it a lot. Especially once the beehives are upgraded as well, I'm gonna have a lot of preserves coming in. Like I really don't need more than I've got, honestly. So as soon as I've got peppers, I need to go back to Rudy and get a couple of the upgrades from him and then as soon as I've got blueberries I need to go back to Harold and get the upgrades from him. There are some things that I need pumpkins and stuff like that for. I could get the field recipe and pick a few of the bits up just to make sure I've got everything but I don't really need to worry about that too much. So I think the thing we're going to do this morning is we're going to head to the um, oh trash hang on that is one thing I haven't done. If I don't keep on top of this it will overwhelm me so I need to just make sure I do go back to the lonely hills and I'm going to um, just clean up that area right at the start 
But yeah, we definitely do have one more area after the quarry. Interesting, it's got like four different um, points to it. But then the desert seems to have about three, no, four as well. And so does the frozen peaks. And then this little area at the end looks to be probably the smallest one, honestly. So I'm just going to go right back to the start, to the riverbed. And we're going to make sure everything's all nice and cleaned up. Because I've been a bit lax with that so far. Oh man, there's rubble in my inventory that I forgot to put away. Oh well. It's fine, I can live with it. I'll put it away next time I go down. In fact, did I... Do I have, like, more... And I've got extra old wood there as well. And I left fields in there. <gasps> I'm so bad. <laughs> Although not as bad as you... I mean, normally I'm there, like, with an infantry that's absolutely stuffed. So I feel like, you know, I'm improving slightly on my... on my tidiness. And I'm hoping to bring that through to things like sand rock and, and stuff and just be a little bit more... Take my time a bit more with things. I can get a little bit over the top with... Um, just like wanting to get things done quickly and going on all my adventures and just rushing things. So I want to try and be a little bit better with that. A bit more methodical, a bit more patient. <gasps> I got hit! Is that my... That's for my uh, disparaging comments earlier about you guys being too easy, isn't it? So now you've shown me that you're not you're not easy to defeat. You are... You are. You can hit me when you want to. Find a fence. I think I did go and press the button for that particular uh, gate earlier on. I was like, I have no idea what this button does. It's probably something down the bottom there. A little ladder to go up as well. I think I might have already got what's up there, but I will double check just in case I didn't. Oh no, there is still a suitcase up here and a little bit of trash to clean up too. Trash and recycled materials. Okay. So I've got a feeling that because this is a, like, a gate, there might be some super secrets hidden here, possibly. Well, there's at least one chest, so that's always good. When I say chest, I mean suitcase, because in here the chests are suitcases. I've got tulips. Trash, recycled materials. Okay. Nothing much in that suitcase. I mean, it is basically a trash planet, so like, um, it doesn't surprise me when some of the suitcases are full of trash. You, you can't really complain about that. It's just a thing that happens sometimes. But yeah, I think they've taken out a couple of... Um, I noticed that Frank hasn't been asking for recipes in the same way. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if Frank will show up now in every uh, section and do a room per section maybe, or something along those lines. So then if you look at the quest line, uh, in the Lonely Hills, partial architecture, and then house expansion one is a quest. So I think unless there's house expansion two here somewhere, I've missed something there. So I hope I work out whatever that is. It might be to do with the deer. We might still get the deer quest line. Oh 
nice recipe water pump. Oh, nice. That would be a pretty decoration. But because this is the last release, unless I decide to do one more run when they put the full underground in, which is still a toss-up in my book as to whether I will or not. It depends on how much time I have and what other things are going on at, at the time. If it happens sort of over the summer while things are a little bit less... Uh, a little bit less crazy YouTube wise because you tend to find that like over the summer period the it really does like a lot of a lot less games come out you have a lot less opportunities for new stuff so it's a good time to revisit old things and uh, updates to things that are already out and that sort of thing and just to be a little bit more chill honestly about things not to, not that I haven't been recently like honestly like my back has been so much better lately. I'm starting to feel so much more confident sitting in my chair. Uh, I've actually, I actually adapted the way my neck is sitting with my chair, which is an interesting one. I'm actually using, I took the headrest off and I'm using a neck pillow instead. And one thing that it actually does, it A, supports my neck, but B, it slightly, slightly supports my headphones. The two bits that come down to the side, it's one of the ones that the sort of um, ring ones goes around your neck when you ha have on an aeroplane or whatever. Or like when you're traveling. Um, so what it does, it actually rests my, the cups of my headphones. So they're not quite as heavy on my head and it's not actually quite as much for my neck's, neck to support. Which is actually quite nice. Some of my back troubles, I think, may be coming slightly from my neck or affecting my neck. I don't know which way around it is, but anything I find to help is useful. But I can, you know, sit here for a few hours now and just be sort of happy and not feel... The, the other test is if I get up and it, it feels horrible, I know I've overdone it. I had a long time where the, I could only sit for an hour or like, and then two hours, and now it's now it's a few hours at a time, which makes it a lot easier to batch record and things. So it's gonna start getting better. We'll start getting back to a sort of a slightly more normal schedule without so many gaps. But I enjoy just sitting down and doing my recordings and chatting to you guys. It's not nice when I can't do it. But I think I still do need to, you know, take time out to go walking. I need to take time out to make sure I'm doing my physio exercises and all that sort of thing. Keeping my strength up. Because that's how you get better permanently. And it's what I've been doing and it's made a big difference. So don't want to go backwards. I want to be here, sitting in my computer chair comfortably for years to come yet. Yeah, the, the, the very last <laughs> test though will be, I've still got one more, one more thing for my grandmother, my late grandmother and uh, that is her ashes are going to be buried in two weeks time so i've got another big another big away trip journey to do after that i should be able to just totally concentrate on myself and my channel at that point been way too much going on all at the same time and it's all been too far away if it was if it was a bit closer it'd be easy just to say i'm just gonna take a day out for this but uh you know, you, you only get two grandmothers, and uh, I've now lost both of them, so that's rather sad. One, The one uh, that I'm going to the funeral for was the closer of the two as well. Yeah, once I've once that's all out of the way, though, all the travelling's out of the way, and uh, I'm just free to enjoy my summer and uh, 
Chill out with you guys. Play some sand rock. As soon as I come back from uh, the funeral stuff, I'm going to be start starting to think about some sand rock content. Uh, we won't be able to play until a little bit later. I think I can have something up around mid-May for you. Then we'll be, we'll just be keeping on going through early access and then there'll probably be another run. Because obviously we've already had the run for, um, beta. Was it, was it like a beta and alpha beta sort of demo thing? We demo, we had that. We've had the demo. We're only allowed to play for four hours though. And that's just not enough, is it? Four hours? That's nothing. <laughs> Not even a, not even a decent length stream. Oh, 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 I got hit again. Oh, no. There's loads of them up here. Ambush, ambush. This is what happens when I start chatting. Chatting nonsense and just, just getting in my groove with uh, tidying up the, tidying up all the rubbish. And then all of a sudden, these guys come out of nowhere. I just want to get all the way to the end here and start cleaning everything up. From the end backwards. Obviously, it's harder when you're trying to fight robots at the same time as clean trash. Pesky robots. Notice the animals never try and like beat me up. It's only those pesky robots, isn't it? Always. One thing I have found in this, I have had absolutely no need at all so far for a Q-Bot. It hasn't asked me to build a Q-Bot Lodge. Uh, it might be optional now or it might be lit a later thing. But so far I've had no need for what they've provided. We're on 47 minutes. Oh no, I've got to finish this cleaning up. I've decided before we can end this episode, I've got to finish this river basin. That's my challenge. That's what I'm going to do. I want it all done. We did all that. We've actually done all the bottom. Actually done more than I thought. The later areas actually have less to clean, I think. The quarry is going to be a bit, a bit of a one. That's quite, that's quite a lot of cleaning involved in the quarry. But the more you clean, I was about to say birds' nests. The more birds' nests you find, and they probably mostly because they've done so much redesign of it. There's probably a lot of location changes to the bird nests. I imagine they seem to be a little bit less uh, hidden in the middle of nowhere. Honestly, so that's quite nice. There were some that were a bit of a pain to find. I noticed that the Lonely Hills always used to be where you'd find ducks as well. And I haven't seen any ducks here. So I think they've moved the deer and they've moved the ducks. Which seems a bit crazy for such a big area. Unless you don't have ducks anymore. Maybe not. Uh, but it seems crazy for such a big area. I've, actually, I haven't noticed any recipes with duck, duck eggs either. Have you? So maybe they have completely removed ducks. Did I get any more different seeds now? Did I get anything like oranges or anything like that yet? No, so far, just blueberry. Blueberry and carrot seem to be the new ones here. Okay, well that's fine. Maybe I'll find some in the uh, in the quarry area because I think that's where I found the blueberries. Right, so I think we might be all done. I can see one big old bit of rubbish over this away that I missed. Other than that, I think we're good. Oh, I see there's a little hill up here that uh, I didn't visit yet. I 
And then I'll head through that gate and just make sure I've uh, cleaned everything there. And if I have, then I'll say that basically everything is clean. Because I know the, uh, the next area along is all clean. From where, from kind of where Rudy is, around there, that's all cleaned up. So it's just whether I missed a few bits around the gate. This side. Anything else? One there, hiding in the trees. How dare it. And I think then we're pretty clean. A couple of suitcases and things that are open, that sort of thing. But I think that's it for here. So I'm going to head through this gate. It wasn't a bad little 10 minute clean up, was it? And just see if I if I did everything through here. It looks like I did. I made an effort to do that. Cool. up there so then I think around the the way around is then up here and round ah I knew there'd be some more somewhere I absolutely knew it so it's just really just the end of this episode a big cleanup of all the bits that I missed last time around and that way we can start next episode afresh we'll clean up the quarry we'll get all the the bits of the bulba later done and everything like that. We'll do the great bulba later. Oh, I don't know what I'll call this. I'll have to call it something like a big cleanup or something. What, what do we do in this episode? Oh, we made the bridge. So it'll be like making the bridge to the quarry or something like that. That'll be what this episode will be about. But sometimes in life, you need to do all the all the cleaning up before you do the next bit. Good life lessons. Life isn't all interesting and and highlight reels all the time. actually very much something that I've been all about with the channel to be fair I, I don't I find a lot of the time people want to make games look they do a lot of editing and things like that and, I, and that is absolutely fine and completely their choice it makes them their content pop it makes it really interesting it makes everything like a like a TV show to watch but then you have no idea. You'll see a game and you'll think it looks really interesting. But the Let's Play has actually cut out like hours and hours worth of grind. And so you watch it and think it's, oh, this is great. This looks so interesting. Oh, I, I cleaned all night. Wow. I think this looks so interesting. But it's interesting because they're only showing like the very highlights of it. And it's actually not really representative of the game they're showing. So it's, it is an interesting one because it definitely does mean that you're spending less time having to sort of watch to get an idea of what the game's about. But it also doesn't show it very realistically either. I really don't know what the answer to that one is other than, you know, some people will do it one way, some people will do it another way. There always used to be a duck up here, didn't there? Part of Ellen's house. I wonder if I need to be uh, collecting parts of Ellen's house in general or whether that will be something that uh, I can use for house upgrade number two. What are you? Why won't you suck up? Ah, there it is. So yeah, once we kind of get to... Oh yeah, because there's another door. I'm sure beyond that door I've cleaned everything. <laughs> she says. But I'd rather have this episode be like a little bit longer. And uh, 
get everything sorted and then be able to just start a fresh next episode with, with new content and new things then have to make this drag into the next time but we'll have to do a bit on the farm next time as well because obviously the new day has started and i wasn't on the farm i'm trying to go back and go to sleep but it's really hard when you get sucked into cleaning because you just want to keep going And that was definitely something early in this series. I definitely spent a lot more time exploring and then I sort of had to spend a lot of time on the farm to make up for it. There we are. We're getting there now. There that didn't get sucked up. Okay, that's all good now. It looks like I cleaned from the railway back and then just got fed up. So <laughs> it's only just these these last little bits here and round the corner there, and then I think we'll end the episode there. Head back to the farm. Is that, is that the last one? There was a hat box up there and a chicken in a cage. So we've got some prepared meals, some uh, fields. I've not found uh, that I've needed to have any more fields than I've got already. Daisy seeds. And then I think we are done. It looks pretty done to me. Let that chicken out. There looks like something's glowing down here. Ah, there's another feather that I had missed. Sometimes I find things on the sort of, you know, you sort of survey your work and you're like, oh, did I miss anything? And it's like, oh, look, there's an entire feather there. I've got a lot of feathers. When we get to Joy, or Jay, <laughs> I don't know who she is. Uh, once we get to her anyway, it will be, oh yeah, this is all completely clean now. Perfect. So I think what we'll do is we'll head home. 57 minutes, that wasn't too bad. I thought we'd go over an hour, but we were just slightly under. By the time I've, uh, I've said goodbye to you, well, it'll probably be an hour. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.